We might give up on chasing these live baits and just duck out wide. Um, we could all use a little yeah. boost to our budget right now. We'll come back in and get some liveies in a little bit say, and have a look for some kingies later on if we can't get anything out wide. Like... All right, guys, first bait's going to head down. We'll mix it up. We'll just try one big, long bit of cuttlefish on this one. All right, guys, so we're pretty much drifting completely opposite direction of what I thought we would. It's blowing northwest this morning, and we are currently drifting straight back into the wind. We might just move to the other side of the... Um, I'm getting a few bites on this rod. Might just move to the other side of the reef with the current pushing from the south back to the north, then the fish would likely be sitting up current of the reef. It's my thought process. Um, we'll put it into practice and we'll see how we go. We'll just try a little move, I think. Where else would you rather be on a morning like today than out in the boat? And now we're drifting the other way. Can't seem to get a break out here at the moment. All right, guys, I think we got one over here. Not too sure what it's going to be, but we'll have a look. Hey, looks like a semi-decent sort of a fish. Oh, he's pulling a bit of line now. Probably say this is going to be a pretty nice snapper. Oh, not sure how tight to go on him. He's pulled a bit of line. He's still pulling string. Haven't been able to stop him and turn him yet. Oh, I've turned him now. Oh, this is going to be a nice fish. All right, guys, how are you? We've got a good one on here. Having a few battery dramas at the moment. All right, guys, we got one there. It's not a bad fish. I'll give get, get him up, give you a bit of a look at him. There he is there. Beautiful little snappers. Can't complain about that. First fish for the morning. I'm gonna keep a few of these today, take them home for a feed, have a nice little cook up later on the week. First fish down. You. So he's worn the line a little bit. We won't be lazy. We'll just cut that little bit off. Retired. It's not worth taking the risk. You might lose one of those really good quality fish just for the sake of tying one knot. We'll bleed him out and get him on ice. First thing we need to do, but is get another bait in the water. All right, there's our next bait ready to go. And get him out there. All right. Let's wrap him down. We're actually on again. I haven't had a chance to actually show you the, the last fish yet. Sorry about that. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. I've still got the other fish just sitting here on the brag mat. Um, I'll try and pick up this other GoPro. It's another quality snapper by the feels of it. It's usually the way when you get one, you get multiple fish. So, um, yeah, quite happy with the, the decision to come north at the moment. Really would have 
like to have someone in the boat with me today, but we're out here one out. We'll do our best. That didn't take too long. You can see I only just dropped that bait back down. Plenty of signs coming across the sounder now. Big school of bait turning up. Another couple of kilo snapper, I would imagine. It's just coming up. He's inflated himself up. Um, he's swim bladder. They don't like, um, they don't release very well from deep water, these snappers. So we'll get a few. Once we've got enough for a feed, we'll leave them be. Go get something else. Alrighty, righty oh, there's fish number two for the morning. It's taken a little while to find the spot, but I think we're on to them now. Give you a look at that one. Let's find a spot for this rod. Not quite as big as the first one, but not a bad fish. Beautiful. Hopefully you can see that there. Got the bait just right in the corner of his mouth. Oh, we'll get him on the measure mat. He's not, he's probably about half the size of the last one, but still not a bad fish. Be, make some good fillets or bake him up whole. See how we go. Flax fishing. You. All right, guys. First couple of fish for the morning. No, oh, one's about, oh, let's see, 57, 58. The other ones, oh, 48. All right, guys, we've just moved back around again. Um, I've just gone back to the standard lens for the GoPro. The max lens has got a bit of moisture in there. Um, probably not doing any favors with the footage, so. We're on again. It's another good quality snapper, this one. It's pulling string. Um, just dropped the first bait down. I was just about to drop the second bait down, just started letting it go when this one took off. Um, you can see the other bait just dangling here in the water. We'll get this one up. He's coming up now. We've had him on for a few minutes, so he's a little bit worn out. It's going to be another quality fish by the looks of it. He doesn't want to come up, that's for sure. Just sitting out here, well, a little bit more than 200 feet. Just out in a bit deeper water. Like I said, we're trying to find that cleaner water. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be much around on the coast here at the moment, but we're doing our best. It's happy down there on the bottom of the ocean. I think we're winning now. Oh, it's quite sticky today. It's very muggy. High humidity, I think we're running about 94% humidity. Barometer's dropping. It's the day of the new moon. Well, oh, this is going to be a quality fish, I think. Still can't see him yet. Oh, here we go. Got a bit of colour coming up now. Just trying to keep a bit of weight on him. Don't really want to lose him. There he is there. Beautiful fish. Got that circle hook pinned in the corner of his mouth. There's his swim bladder there. Probably not going to release very well this one. Well, um, he can come home for a feed as well. Beautiful fish. We'll give him a bit of a measure for you. Sometimes we do all right. There's our latest catch. He's um, oh, easily 60. Oh, just 60, I should say. Maybe 59. I'll give him 59. Another beautiful fish. Big knobby head on him. Can't complain about that, guys. Guys, stoked to get another fish. That's three on board so far. Just going to turn this boat a little bit. It's a um, bit of a funny angle we're drifting on at the moment. Just spin us around and get these other rod out. Well, so far, guys, we've caught all our fish on the smaller sinker. I don't know if that's a sign or that's just the way it's happened. Smaller sinker, smaller hook. We're using a 4 0 mustard circle hook on the lighter rig. We're using a 5 0 mustard circle hook with an 8 ball sinker on the heavier rig. I think that one's only got a 5 or a 6 ball sinker. Um, 
producing the fish either way. So we're actually on again straight away. I don't know what we've caught this time. I don't think he's a snapper. In fact, I think he... Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, something's still on there. We'll wind him up and check him. Okay, guys, pearl perch. Oh, not a pearl perch. Um, not 100% sure what these are. We just call them pearl perch, but I don't think they actually are. There he is there, guys. We'll let him go, eh? Back to the bottom, no problems. Looks like we're about to hook up again over here. Sorry about the rod situation. I try not to fall fish out of this side. Oh, look, there's the circle hooks. Picked up another snapper. It's the same rod, same bait, same everything. It's caught all the fish so far. Really would like to take him somewhere else so we can get a better angle without something in our way. He's pretty fiery sort of a fish, this one. We're slowly getting him up. He's not a monster. I don't think he's as big as the last one, but still a quality fish. We'll see how big he is. This might be the end of our snapper session. We might actually go off and, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I was hoping the water would be cleaner up here and I was going to go chase some kingfish, but I don't think, um, don't think there'll be many around with this dirty water. We might get a few more snappers just for a bit of fun. Um, see how they release. Like I said, we're in nearly 200 foot of water. It's coming up now. I've actually still got this camera running, so we'll just... Oh, she's a bit fogged up again. The humidity down here, like I said, it's really humid. I'm really struggling with the film and the cameras keep fogging up on me. I'll just get him up and I'll give you a look once he's in the boat. I like getting the underwater footage, but... Um... All right, here he is at the surface. Not a monster, legal fish. Oh, come back here, bro. Oh. We might actually try and let this little one go. Thinks it looks all right. He's still swimming pretty well. He's... Give you a look at him. There he is there. Not a massive fish by any means. Let's release him and watch him swim away, eh? All right, we got one. We're on again. It's not a monster. Just another little one. Got the team colours on today. Mighty South Sydney. Competition will be kicking off again soon. Hopefully we can go one better than last year. I think we're going to miss Reynolds, but we'll see how we go, eh? Go the bunnies. What have we caught? Look at that. Beautiful. Little live bait. Put him down for the kingfish. Couldn't have worked out much better. Get our kingfish rod out. I just get me live bait. Same as I do with the mullet, just feed him through the nostril. Especially if you're going to drift. Just like that. We'll send him down. All right, he's heading down. Uh, we're still drifting on to our good snapper mark. Might have to do a bit of a reshuffle here. We'll stick this one over here. We get our cuttlefish bait back out. Now we've got a pretty big sinker on that live bait, so that should pretty much sit vertically underneath the boat. The smaller sinker on this cuttlefish will just drift out past the back of it. 
I kind of want to get them both down there. We're just, we're just hitting our marks where we've been hitting the fish. Um, I'll give you a quick look at what we're fishing on. So here's our mark. That's where we caught our first fish. These are our three drifts. Um, rocky bottom. Drops away over here. We're just sort of waiting till we hit that drop off and that seems to be where we're catching the fish. So we're getting our baits down there at the moment. Got three rods out, got a live bait here, two, a cuttlefish on that one and a bit of cuttlefish on that one. That one hasn't caught a thing all day, so I don't know. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh, we're on. We got snapper on this one. There you go, guys, straight back onto that mark. Straight back onto another fish. That's how simple it is. You find a fish, mark your spot, most of the time they'll stay there, just come back over, try not to make too much noise, drift your bait through again, and turn that one fish into multiple fish. Here he is here, oh we got a pig fish. I won't turn the camera because I want to keep this. There you go guys, nice little piggy. Delicious eating. We'll give him a go. I'll get him off the hook and give his a look. He's actually a little bit smaller than I thought he was. We might put him back this one. Try and get a camera shot of him swimming away. His guts is hanging out the bottom there, but I think he'll swim away all right. If not, we'll pick him up again. All right, he's off. No worries at all about that. Plenty of bait down there. I'll give you a look at the screen. I was going to say, I'm just about to move, but um, looking at that sounder, that's just loaded with bait. You know, that 100 foot of bait almost, 50 foot of bait, 80 foot of bait. Hopefully you can pick that up all right. I don't know. Not sure exactly what they are, hey. I'd probably say they're those little yakkers. Caught one before. There's our mark back up here where we caught our fish. Here's where we are. Here's where I've been cancelled one. That's my first drift. That was my second drift. I'm just on my third one now. Um, yeah, work out what we're going to do there, whether we um, do another one or call it a day. See how we go. The dolphins have just come over for a bit of a visit. I'll just try and get a bit of footage of them for you. Um, motor out. We'll try another location. We'll just try something else, mix it up. We've caught a few fish, so um, now's the time to try something different, you know. Try something you haven't tried before, or just a new spot. Never hurts to try new spots, especially if you've already caught a few fish for the day. A um, little bit of exploring never goes astray. We're just trying not to go too quick. We're just, I'll just try going fast enough just to see if I can get the dolphins to come up and have a play with the boat. Just gonna head out a little bit wider. Go hit a slightly different section of the same reef. Okay, so what's the time now? It's 9.14. Um, had a reasonable day already. Got a few fish on board. We're on again straight away. Um, there he is there. Beautiful fish. We'll send him back. He can take someone else's bait. This one feels like a little bit better fish. I don't think it's target species. Our live bait's getting a bit antsy down there. That's probably a good sign. And here he is here. That's my favorite thing about these hooks is every time they're just pinned in the corner of the mouth, you don't really do any damage to the fish. Very easy just to roll that hook straight out. Fish is unharmed. Ready to release. <laughs> Bait's still good to go. I don't know, we've probably caught four or five fish with those same two pieces of bait there. Dolphins are just out the back here. 
Just having a bit of a play. All right, live bait rod's been taken. Our live bait's been hit by something. Oh, he's another good snapper. I thought he would have been better than that. Phew. Can't complain about that. Quality little fish. See if we can't get a couple more. We might go chase something else then. Don't All right, guys, it's gone a little bit quiet on the snapper front. We'll head in and get a few flathead before we head home. 